Welcome. Today I want to explain to you about a generated adversarial network or GAN. I hope I am not messed up with the spelling. Okay. So what is GAN? GAN is one of the generated model as in the in its name, right? So what exactly is generative model? So first, let me explain to you about a discriminative model. Discriminative model is like you know sample. Uh, Usually in the supervised learning, we doing the classification, right? So this is a uh, data point in here, and this is class A, and this a data point two in here, and let's say this is point, this is class B, and for the classification, we will draw a slight line like this, like to separate class A and class B. And in the regression, if there's a point like this, here, we will draw a slight line like this, right? So yeah, this is what we do when we doing the discriminative model in the classification or regression. See here, we draw a slight line like this. Or if the data is, uh, you know, in nonlinear, maybe not slight line, but what line like this you know but look at the point right so this is the discriminative model but the generative model instead drawing a slight line what the model produce is the data here so for example if we have a model that can generate that can generate uh, data point for class A that we that it it will the it will produce data point like this it will feel like so yeah that is the general definition and what is done exactly okay before we do the code let me explain that in general so in GAN there's a uh, two model. The first model is generator. And the second is discriminator. And oh yeah, I forget that. The input for this generator, oh yeah, the generator is the model that we will use, but the discriminator is the trainer for this generator. So what the input of the generator in the vanilla gen the input is just yeah random variable it's random variable and this generator usually when we doing a gen we will produce an image so for example the generator will produce Let's see the image of oh yeah your photo. For example, you want to train the GAN model to produce your photo, and the generator will produce from the random variable here, from the random input or Ruby's input, it will produce a fake photo of yourself. Okay. And this fake photo will be inputted to the discriminator. And discriminator will decide if this fake photo or real photo. Okay. So yeah. To make the discriminator can can differentiate between the fake photo and real photo, the real sample, real, real photo will be inputted to in the discriminator so discriminator will be running twice first first the discriminator will oh yeah i forget to mention but just suppose this is the training page so here training page here we get random variable input to the generator generator will produce a fake photo and then there is a real photo the discriminator will be trained first so it trained 
using fake photo and of course the label for the fake photo will be zero right and then for the real photo the label must be one so the discriminator will be trained first and then after that the generator will be trained and what unique from this gen is the generator here is one to you know one to pick the discriminator so for example for example the discriminator here uh he, he predict that this fake photo is a real photo then the error for this generator will be less but if he if he predict that it's a fake photo then the error for the generator will be big yeah but this is just the general explanation let's go to the code okay this is the code in this code i want to this code actually i want to train my model to draw an anima and the target for the anima is here this is colored kubokan and you know because the, the you see here the size for the image is 500 times 500 and if we input this to the model it will be too big so that's why i do the don't scale so the resolution will be 28 times 28 and the script is here this is to resize the image i am using a uh, open cv and then yeah this is the data and actually oh yeah i forget that for train the model we need uh, many data set like right? not this one that's why in this in this data set here yeah i forget to mention that because if we using this photo it will be 28 times 28 times 3 i think it's still too big for my pc to handle that's why because i reduce them to the silhouette like this so it will be yeah no 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 here it will be 20x times 20x because this is just a grayscale image and you see here i only have uh, one image so how to make uh, many images to make a data set for train my model that is this is why I create the script. Okay, here. Yeah, here. In here, I produce a random Gaussian noise here. So, let's check it. I said. You take a look at this. See here. See, there's a yeah there's a random noise right in the gray here with gray color here there's a random right so every image have a random noise and then yeah this is the clip for the for the gun let's see oh yeah first this is the add noise i don't use this and this is the parameter that i'm using for this clip this is the height and the width of image this is random dim is a dimension for the random variable for the input of the generator edge dim here this is the total neuron total hidden neuron i'm using and here xdim here is because i am using a linear function linear model like this or dense layer like this so that's why i will flatten the image so the dimension will be 
bed size times here the total of height image times width image and as you can see here the operation in the generator only dense layer and the activation function and for the activation here i am using relu but for the final activation function i am using sigmoid same with oh yeah for the generator the output is xdim and the xdim is like here right the head image time width image so you can see here the generator will produce the data with the size of the image but for the discriminator and as you can see here it's same but the output will be one because discriminator will just to decide if this is a fake image from generator or real image and this is the function for save the generated image you can see here i times 255 this is because in the process i'm doing the normalization here you know in the image of the png image the highest value is 255 and the lowest is zero so to do the normalization to map its scale from zero to one i just need to divide it by 255 and this is the definition of the model this is the learning function i'm using i'm using adam here and this is the process to convert from numpy to torch oh yeah i'm using pytorch here and this is to make the training data to load it to the data loader and here i'm using epochs 100 and here the generative loss and discriminative loss yeah and this is the main dish you can see here i am creating a label one one label here for the real real label and zero label here for the fake label and as you can see here once starts once for one label and zero for fake for the yeah, for the fake image and this is the random input i produce for the input for the generator here and then as you can see here i am doing the discriminator training first here this is the real loss but the meaning of the real loss here is i am training the discriminator for the real image here the data processed here this is the real image and then the fake loss here is i'm training this discriminator for the fake image so the label here is zero and then the loss for the discriminator is we just need to add the real loss for the real image plus the fake loss for the fake image and then after that we're doing the backward and after that we evaluate the generator here okay first we generate a fake image using the same random input and then after that we doing the evaluation like this so the loss is like this we using the output from the discriminator so we measure that how close that how close the generator can pick it the discriminator so that's why in here we using the one labels not zero although the data we use is the pet image right so here yeah this is the measure of how close we can pick the discriminator 
and then this is just for the those calculation and then this is a print and here i'm outputting the generating the image that we generate for every epoch so after that we run this okay and to run this it's very simple and with models it's done and as you can see here you see here the generator loss at the first it's very low right but in epochs 1 2 3 and so on it's increasing that's because the discriminator is become stronger to separate between real image and fake image that's why the error is increasing but when the error is increasing it will go down right? you can see here after it reached the 5 it go down to 4 3 2 1 because the generator is become stronger too it become more smarter to generate image that can click the discriminator but the discriminator will not let that because it will be getting stronger too you can see here it will the error for the discriminator it's going up and down too right they the both of them is getting stronger and it's good because the more the discriminator strong the more uh, the stronger the discriminator is the stronger is the stronger the discriminator is it can become it can train the generator more harder so the generator will produce more real image or more smarter way to trick the, dis the stronger discriminator so that's why although the error is like this the error is up and down it's not a bad sign actually it's i think it's a good sign because the generator and the discriminator is each other but let's just tell me let's see the output and then the output will be here and as you can see here it's getting better the model or the generator getting better with the silhouette for the anime right and the output is like this I think it's close to the real and this is the for the first epoch and this is for the last epoch or 100 epoch and as you can see here let's see with the real This is the real, and this is the fake that generated by generator. It's close, right? And that's it. This is how I. This is how the very basic gun model. But in this experiment, I'm not satisfied with just silhouette. I want to teach my model to draw the animal. That's why in here, yeah. in here I build the model, but for the LGB or the or the input, not just the grayscale image, but the but the PNG image. But when I run this in my PC, my PC getting freeze. So that's why I run this model in the Google Colab. This is. The script i will share this in the description of the video okay so first i'm the i'm unzip the data set oh yeah i forgot to show you the data set this is the data set you can see here there is a random noise and i upload that to the here to the google drive and then i unzip that using this using this command and then after that i'm running this 
And because I'm using Google Connect here, I'm using CUDA or GPU to run this model. And this is the report. As you can see here, same with the silhouette model. For the first report, it's low, but the more the reports, as you can see here, are the reports 1, 2, 3, 4. It's increased, right? Because the discriminator is getting stronger. And after that, the final error is 7 here. And let's see the output. This is the output. And you can see here, this is the output for the first airport. And this is the output for the final airport. For the comparison, I will show you the image. This is the target image here. Yeah, this is the generation image for the final airport. You can see here, getting closer to the real image. Compare it with the first airport. The color is so off, but in the last, the color setting is getting better, right? This is a quite good result. And yeah, that's it. That is for the very basic gun model. I think that's all. Thank you. See you in the another video. Bye.